Welcome to Electro Online, and here's another concept in the realm of gases called the diffusion of gases and we're going to just look at the basics here. So what do we mean by the diffusion of gases? Diffusion is just a fancy word for mixing. So what if we have two separate gases that we now combine into one and they're now free to mix? How do they mix? So as an example, let's say we have two separate containers that are walled off on one side we have a gas that is predominantly larger molecules, on the other side we have a gas that has smaller molecules. And then we take the boundary away, maybe it's a membrane that we poke and it bursts open, now the gases can mix together. What we seem to find is that the larger molecules move across to the other side and mix much more slowly. So they tend to move over to the other side much more slowly, while the small molecules seem to move through much more quickly. So smaller molecules tend to mix with another gas much more quickly than large molecules mix. And so we find out that the small molecules tend to, with smaller mass tend to migrate over much faster. The larger molecules with large mass tend to migrate over a lot slower. And that is typically due because of the speeds of these molecules. Remember that the RMS velocity, the room mean square velocity, or representative velocity of a molecule, is equal to the square root of 3 kT over m. Or, in units, standard units, it's 3 RT over the molar mass. And notice that a bigger molar mass means smaller velocities. So larger molecules move more slowly, and so as they bounce through the molecules, it takes them longer to get to the other side of the container. So what that means is, let's say you're in a room and you're standing on one side of the room and somebody on the other side of the room opens up a, a vial with some gases, so it takes off the lid and so the molecules can go and begin to spread through the atmosphere. And let's say there's no air circulation. It will take quite a long time before these molecules, and let's say that they, you can smell them, before these molecules travel all the way throughout the room and reach the other person, where the other person can actually smell them, of course. They, they tend to go in all directions, but it takes a while. Remember, the mean free pad is not very large. They tend to bounce against molecules. So it takes a long time for molecules to move across the room. Of course, if you put a fan there and blow the air across, then it happens in a matter of seconds. But if it's still air and the air is not rotating and not moving around, then, uh, then yes, you will take a long time for things to move around. And so that's what we call the diffusion of gases. It's a rather slow process unless we mix it with some mechanical device. It takes a while for these molecules to move across. In the next video, we'll, we'll actually calculate the rate at which things move across relative to one another. Okay, and that's the basics of diffusion of gases.